All right, man. In the legendary words of Eric Badu, I'm an artist and I'm sensitive about my shit. And it looks like my boy Kodak Black need a little hug right now. You know, it ain't nothing too serious. But I could definitely tell that, you know, the stuff that 21 said bothered him. You know, the, the tweet where 21 said, hey, man, y'all artists, y'all this and y'all that. And why don't y'all fans support y'all music? And I could tell that that one hurt Yak right there. I mean, you know, Yak has been putting out tweets saying that he shouldn't even have sold 39000 40000 He's saying that it should be up. It should be above that. He even said it when the last album before that. Uh, he dropped 60000 the first week. Now, Yak, he thinks highly of himself. And that's beautiful. And I think that he should be overselling that. I think Kodak should be up there with the um, Lil Dirks and, you know, the 100,000 and up club. I mean, the man has Super Gremlin, a number two hit in the country. Why are you only selling 60,000? But that's another story. So he responded to 21 Savage because he didn't like it. So he put up an a actual post on Instagram and it said, 21 do his thing. I give credit where it's due. But don't come for me talking about my album sales, homie. That ain't gangster. You niggas know what I done been through in this shit. And you niggas had a whole consistent run with no hiccups for real. And y'all 30 year old plus. <laughs> I'm a young nigga doing this shit since I came in the game. I was in and out of jail. And y'all still ain't really doing nothing to where I got to catch up. I'm done. <laughs> I'm doing pretty good. He said, I'm doing pretty damn good by myself. Still, like, I ain't never been nowhere. Imagine if I didn't, though. But let's see how this shit go now that I've been home and I'm consistent with the shit. Now, I got to debunk some things, called uh, Kodak Black. So I hope this ain't no personal thing. It's not a personal thing, but, you know, uh, this is just my, my thing. Now, he's saying y'all 30 years old plus. I don't want to hear that because, Kodak, you've been in the game longer than 21 Savage. Yeah, or just about the same amount of time. So the age don't matter. It doesn't matter that you 25 and he 30. What matters is, like you said, he's been consistent. You haven't. It's not about the age group, right? Nobody's looking at 21 Savage saying, oh, he's 30. Uh, that's why I support him. Or they're not saying that Kodak Black's 25. That's why I support him or that's why I don't support him. It's the music that speaks for itself. Shit, I didn't hear my mama singing Super Gremlin. And she almost 60 years old. So I don't want to hear that. Now, let's go to the next one. He's saying, like, he y'all ain't had no hiccups. And he, you know, he been in and out of jail. Well, whose fault is that? I'm not trying to knock you, Kodak. But, you know, the reason you aren't getting the consistency and that maybe the labels aren't supporting you it's because you in and out of jail. You, this is the first time you've ever been in and out of jail for over a year since you've been getting arrested. That came out your mouth on The Breakfast Club. So whose fault is that? A lot of the stuff you put on yourself. I mean, we've seen you get arrested on Instagram Live before because you was violating your probation and they was watching. We didn't seen you get arrested. Shit, your last arrest. You got arrested for pills. Your pills weren't in the in the prescription bottle. I know it sounds petty, and I think you it's something you can beat. But we got to be honest here. You got a prescription. You a rapper. They looking for something. You know it. You just said that they follow you around in Houston. Not to mention in Houston. You got yourself in a jam. The Zoles is out there fighting. Allegedly some Houston gangsters and shit. You stay in shit. You don't control anything. You don't ever just sit down. Shit, you got in trouble um, when you first got out. You got arrested for trespassing over there in Pompano and you had just got a pardon by Trump like look at the petty shit you do when you get out of jail you stay in some shit shootouts shootouts you in the middle of a shootout at McDonald's um you got shot you still outside you still want to go to the trenches this is what happens you think that these labels ain't tired just why Atlantic wanted to just really probably let you go you and young boy they probably tired like you make a lot of money but you also they also got to spend a lot of money man think about the lawyers and you know representing you in court and all of the shit that y'all get into y'all stay in jail they got to fight cases they got to apply security hook up a studio at your house when you're on house arrest it's certain things that it's the reason why you are missing out on opportunities 21 he came in this game with leverage platinum album before he ever signed a deal 
a, 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 a 60 40 split or something to that nature. Yeah, he, they want to push 21 Savage. That's why he get the promotion. That's why he get to sell 178,000 first week. That's why he get to do these albums with Drake. You know? And it come off sometimes that, like you be hating a little bit, Kodak. You know? Uh, so, I don't want to hear nothing about the industry being against you when you really are your biggest enemy. It's just like Gucci Mane back in the day. Gucci Mane used to do the same shit, and I seen him in his book. He eventually apologized and had to restore a lot of relationships because of the shit that he did, the silly shit that he did, you know? So I do agree with you when you said, imagine if you didn't, uh, then you get consistent with the shit. But like I said, that's nobody's fault but your own, you know? Even if it's something that you probably shouldn't have went to jail for, you got to ask yourself, did I put myself in position? Did I do this? So I think that it was an emotional response for you, Kodak, which I understand. There's nothing wrong with that. Um, I don't want y'all to think that I'm saying emotional like, oh, Kodak's a bitch or he's just a little sensitive ass nigga. But I get it. You're an artist and you got higher expectations for yourself. And, you know, while, while he popping that shit like that, you ain't really got a response for it because the truth hurt. You ain't sell. You ain't been selling no records. I'm putting you right now in in like the old Young Thug category. Young Thug, his name was always in the blogs for what he would do, like what he would wear, the gangster shit he had going on, the beefs with Lil Wayne. But then when his album dropped, he's selling 30,000, 35,000. We're like, damn, do people not translate? Does this shit not translate to the music? You got to ask yourself, does it? You know? So you're you in a fresh new opportunity, though. At the end of the year, you'll be done with Atlantic, and you uh, you just signed a new deal to another label. So this is your chance. A lot of people don't get the opportunities that you get, Kodak. You got to take your shit for a blessing. And then we'll see if, you know, your fans come out and say like you like you plan they do. So tell me what y'all think. Do y'all think that I'm wrong with my, my take? Do y'all think that Kodak Black has hurt his own self? Or do y'all think that it's just, you know, other struggles that have caused him not to for fully live his potential. Was 20 Savage wrong? Was that a low blow? Y'all let me know what y'all think, man. Like, share, subscribe, comment, hit that notification bell. And we out, baby. Boom. Daddy channel. <laughs> subscribe for Daddy channel.